Good afternoon everybody, Talking Tommy coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire. You will probably no doubt have noticed a change of venue. Um, I'm actually around my friend's house um, because it's getting colder now and it's a Saturday and my house, well my balcony where I normally do my videos uh, is extremely noisy on Saturdays and I thought about my viewers and I thought about the poor eardrums having to listen to all the noise disruption so I have a, had a word with my friend and he said it was absolutely fine to do some filming in his uh, back room so here I am hey hey so uh, today's video is going to be my fourth uh, UK over the counter blend review and today's review is going to be a blend I actually got from uh, my good friend Jake, also known as Scanner Darkly, and it is the new kid on the block in UK over the counter blends, and that is Root 66, which um, I always thought was a roll your own cigarette tobacco, so I thought it was, I thought it was for rolling. I never realised it was a pipe tobacco, um, but as you will note here, there is a pipe symbol, so apparently it is made for pipe tobacco, but it, uh, the pouch note isn't, I don't know, it's nothing too spectacular and the cut is a sort of, so I'll show you this, it's a sort of fluffy kind of shag cut, which is another reason why I presumed it was uh, a rolling tobacco. It looks like rolling tobacco. Um, but yeah, it's relatively new on the scene. Don't think it's been around very long. Um, and as Jake sort of me out with some, I thought, get in a video. So, what I am going to be smoking it in today is a Missouri Mearsham corn cob pipe. And this shape is a country gentleman, I believe. Um, I won't go on about corn cobs, don't worry. I'm going to insult all the cob lovers out there. They're alright. Not, um, not, not as nice to look at as Briar. Not even as nice to look at as Falcons, I don't think. And I'm not even a big fan of Falcons. Um, but, they're alright. We do the job. Cheap and cheerful. So I'm just packing this as quickly as I can. That's to not take up too much of your time. A little bit more in there. I have tried this before, so don't worry. This isn't a first impression. This is a fair and rounded review, as always. Oh, it feels so weird doing a video without an ambulance going past. <laughs> nice. It's quiet. Downside of that is you have to listen to more of my voice. So. See how that goes. I'm probably going to lose subscribers after this video. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the things I like about this uh, this pouch artwork, going back to the pouch, sorry, is it says Route 66, and then it says Freedom to Choose. Oh, yeah, Freedom to Choose. <laughs> We're not in America. <laughs> We have no real freedom in the UK. It's all an illusion. But I'm not going to get into that. So, so it packs very easily. If you'd like to see. Packs very easily. Mm. Yeah, it's a new one. It's a fluffy shark cut. So, a fluffy shark cut. Um, I don't mind shag tobacco, I think it's um, it's pretty good actually, it's not too bad, it's good for when you're on the go, like you're travelling, you just see them then, I packed about really quickly, so that's not, that's never a bad thing really, being able to pack quickly, if you're in a rush, which I these days tend to be quite often, then it's a very good advantage, so let's get it lit, eh? It's 
so it lights very easily. Fluffs up, which a lot of shag cut tobacco does. So I just tamp it down. Okay, light it again. So straight away, straight off the bat, it does have a slight citrusy kind of taste. Um, that hits you right at the back, right at the back of the palate, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's, uh, it's very similar to Erinmar, I think only less intense. I found Erinmar to be a little bit, well, Erinmar flake, and I find it to be a little bit too, too sherbet. That's what I find it. Too much like sherbet, too much. Um, like a refresher bar or something like that um, and I got incredibly bad tongue bite but I was probably smoking it far too quickly I think oh dear too much talk you know that's what that is There's a slight fruity aroma to it, definitely, kind of citrusy, I have to say which citrus really, I know it's a broad, broad spectrum, but kind of citrusy, kind of, kind of, kind of tangy. It's similar, I'd say, in taste to, and I'm not sure how many pipe smokers will dry this, um, but Golden Virginia or Amber Leaf, incredibly similar to those of those who roll your own tobaccos. It's very similar to them. Less cigarette like than them, I'd say. And it does have that kind of mild fruity kind of case into it, which they do not. But um, judging by the cut of this, you could certainly have no trouble sticking it in a smoking paper, rolling it up, and smoking it like a cigarette. Flavour wise, other than from the initial sort of lighting, um, you don't really get a continuous citrus taste, I don't think. I think you really get much to be quite honest with you, it's slightly bland. The mix is predominantly bright Virginias. There's a possible hint of burley in there, possibly, um, but I don't know, it's, it's not prominent in any way. If it's there, it's in the background. It, it's mm. certainly not a feature of the blend. It's okay. It's, again, I'm not getting much from it. Which you'd think is not necessarily a great thing because I'm smoking in a cob and cobs are supposed to be completely untainted in the sense that we don't carry over from other blend smoked in it. Uh, and this certainly isn't doing that. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, one of the purest smokes you can get is from a cob or a meerschaum. 
because all you're tasting is the back, you're not tasting any of the oils or anything coming off the briar. Um, and if this is a true reflection of what the tobacco tastes like, you know, I have to say there's not a lot going on. <laughs> A little bit more of a flavour from the retro hail. A little bit more. Not, again, not a massive amount, but not a huge amount going on, I wouldn't say. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be... Unpretentious. It's a very unpretentious smoke. It's not complex in any way shape or form but then it's not exciting either it doesn't doesn't do a massive amount for you really yeah and even in terms of strength, I mean, it's only a mild to medium blend. Um, and in fact, I'd probably say the emphasis more on mild than medium. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a great amount going on. But uh, it is one of the cheaper blends, I believe, out there. So if you're on a budget, and I believe you can also get it in 25 gram pouches, which is what this is, as well as 50 gram pouches. So for about, I'm not sure, about five pounds maybe, you can get so you can get a pouch of it. So okay, you be able to smoke it all day long. You're not going to knock yourself out. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great, really. Um, it's a bit below average, I'd say. Really, there's much better smoky mixes out there. Could quite possibly make a good mixer. It's like you could cut it with gold block or clam something like that to give them a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a depth to them I suppose um, or perhaps even Mellow Virginia if you want to uh, spice that up a little bit but to be quite honest with you um, on its own it's okay it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna blow your mind at all so um, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's okay, it's easy going, it's pretty cheap, it's readily available, I think you can get it in most supermarkets, fairly certain I've seen it in Tesco's. Uh, it's probably a good blend to have on hand or in your cellar or cupboard or drawer or wherever you keep your tobacco um, just for when you want a quick simple uncomplicated smoke but to be honest with you this is far better over the counter blends out there I think the further down you get on the ball, the more sort of, uh, the more sort of bored you get of it I think actually, it's, it's 
you know, I, don't, you know, I don't like to be unkind about tobaccos, but it's, it's a fairly boring blend. It doesn't keep you on your toes. It just sort of, I suppose it's consistent, but sometimes you don't want consistency. Sometimes you want to be taken on a bit of a journey and so it's called Route 66, you're not taking on any journey whatsoever. Might be better appreciated in a smaller bowl, I'm not sure. It's okay, it won't, it doesn't give you any tongue bite. Um, I'm smoking this relatively quickly, excuse me one moment. It doesn't give you tongue bite, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really give you much of anything. Yeah, we'll leave that there for now. I'm just getting bored of that. <laughs> which is in turn probably making this video rather boring. Uh, rating it out of 5, I will give it a 2.5. It's way below average in my opinion. It's okay, it's not necessarily a bad blend, but it's not a particularly good blend. Um, it's alright. It'd probably benefit from being mixed with something with a bit more pep to it, perhaps Bruno Ready rubbed, something like that just to give it a little bit more pizzazz because as it stands there's not a lot going on at all with that blend um, it's yeah I'd, I'd say a 2.5 um, which is probably the lowest rating I've given so far from the other counter blends um, by all means go out and get some give it a go see what you think of it however when it comes to freedom to choose, I think you should exercise that freedom and choose a better blend. So yes, with that, I will leave it there and say, have yourselves a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whatever, all that. Um, thank you to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you to everyone for your comments and your likes. Um, keep them coming, ask me questions, all the rest of it. Have yourselves a good one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.